Hello everyone, it's your boy Chuck Thunder, and we're back with an episode. I don't know if this is going to be the Let's Play series, but I might as well just keep adding it to that, since that's one that everyone's familiar with. If it does sound like I'm sick, it's because I threw up a whole bunch the other day, and did not do very well in the toilet either. Too much information, I know. But, because of that, I vomited a lot, and my stomach was all over the place, and now my throat hurts. Uh, I got COVID tested, don't have COVID, <coughs> but I do have a sore throat. So hopefully you like this new voice of mine. What you've caught me in the middle of doing uh, this episode is traveling to do some Nanban this coming uh, episode. I am in the middle of Cape Cod over here, or Cape Cod, <laughs> this is Boston. Um, I'm in the middle of the Cape of uh, Good Hope, is that what it is? Cape Town, I guess, I don't know what they really call it. But I am down here because I am trying to get to China. I'm trying to unlock more ports for Nanban. Now, I don't know that you're going to see very much of this episode of uh, me doing uh, travel. I just wanted to update you guys where I am at this game. I went on a hiatus. I played some Farming Simulator. Hopefully, some of you guys watched some of that and crossed over a bit. But if it's not your style of game, I can understand. I went back to that for a little while while I was doing away from this. Mostly because I don't think I was really getting the enjoyment that I had hoped out of this game. Um you know, for a while, and the time investment, I have this habit of playing games in which where the time investment to get anywhere in the game is uh, very long. And I find myself restarting and restarting and restarting every game of Farming Simulator because I like the initial buying into the game. I don't know why. I just like the restart. It's like playing World of Warcraft. They're just creating new characters. I, for whatever reason, I like the early game. So... Uh, with that being said here, late game is the fun part of this, but it starts to get grindy, so I, I figured I need to switch back. So here I am doing some late game stuff again, which is more of that Nanban. Plus, even though I have a decently fast ship for some of my uh, capabilities, I am not uh, still tra I'm still not traveling to like China with any ease. It takes me several days of my own life to get there, so... Um, I'm not even sure if where I'm going to be is going to be safe, actually. So let me take a look at the map. And it appears it will be. Okay. So I forget what countries we've unlocked. I think I did Nagasaki and Tamsui. I honestly don't remember. I wish I had written it down. I think I did... I think I did Japan, and I did Taiwan, I have not done Korea, and I have not done China yet, so... I'm going to try to do a China uh, location today. We're going to probably go for Macau. So it's in a recession, so maybe not. Chongqing might be a great place to go because they're at a festival and alcohols, from what I understand, do well in those areas. But I could be wrong. We're gonna we're gonna sail uh, around Madagascar here. get to Tamatave and then from there we're gonna sail straight across. We're gonna avoid going to Calicut even though there's always a temptation to get um, spices from Calicut pepper and such but we're not gonna do that. Top off on this. So yeah that's what we're up to today. Fully straight ahead here. Just getting myself angled appropriately so that I could sail to Madagascar with ease. And once I think I got it right, then I'll close off caution and emergency acceleration. 
that should get us there a little bit faster. So yeah, you guys have stopped in to check on me. I do appreciate it. This episode is really just going to be me updating you on what I plan on doing with this tune. Um, so besides doing Nanban, um, the next time I make an episode, it will be me getting to Nan to to China to show you what I'm doing to unlock that and bringing it back to show you what I make off of it and see if it's even worth it. That is part of the fun. You might go all the way there with a bunch of whiskey hoping that it's going to unlock an area for you to find out it unlocks stuff. You get very little item from it and you just... That's it. You don't make much money off of it. Uh, and that's why Nanban can be hit or miss. you got to read the markets and if you don't do it within like a day of you doing of you attempting things could change in the market so heavily that you just aren't ready for the changes and you lose money. So that's all very plausible about what could happen. So we're going there with three hundred and fifty whiskey. Yep. Which is more than enough I think to unlock uh, another city. But that is our goal. I wish I kept track of what cities I unlocked. Or which regions I unlocked, really, because I think once you unlock one, you have unlocked them all. Thank goodness for emergency acceleration. We're going almost 12 and a half knots. Well, I know that's not fast. I've seen guys do 20 knots or more. But it's pretty quick for, for someone like myself makes for decent episodes now versus just sailing like if I was on my old boat shoot man I'd still be in the Caribbean uh, not the Caribbean I'd be in the uh, west coast of Africa right now what else can I tell you about guys um nothing new with my aids going on I did change up one of my aids a little bit now I have a cooking aid with me, mostly because of the cat breeding. It helps against rat outbreaks right now, so that when I get my goods from Namban, that rats don't eat it. Well, depending on whatever it is, I, it may not be much. Uh, what else? The other aid, cooking task. Spice trading, again, not that important. Alright, coming up on Tamatawe now, and then we are going to begin sailing across the, the Indian Ocean. I hope that I don't get attacked. That's the one thing that happened to me last time when I coming back from Namban, is that somebody had went and attacked me. To loot me. Pirated. Mm, this might result in a battle. I don't feel like moving. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Oh, sign of a trade for Chungus went up. Oh, no, Erda, not Chungus. I read Captain as Chungus for whatever reason. Okay, let's go ahead and top off our provisions here. East slightly but uh, east but slightly north <laughs> 